All right, well, I'm back here. Now it's time to cut the grass. It's pretty high, but at least this guy's paying, so free pay. Fast, fast. Well, I started cutting his lawn, but his lawnmower is too wimpy. It bogs every second. It was bogging through the small stuff, so I'm gonna go get mine. Hopefully, Shelly's home so I can throw it in her Jeep. Well, I got my lawnmower loaded up. The door won't close, but I mean, I'm just going down the street, so we'll be fine. And Shelly brought home a beaver tail for me. I've never had one. I grabbed it. By the looks of it, I thought it was like a, it's gonna be a pizza flavor thing. Took a bite. It's like super sweet, like chocolate and caramel, and I thought it was, thought it was gonna be pizza flavor. Score cheesecake. <laughs> Let my mouth, my mouth buds, my taste buds are screwed now. It's just, my mouth buds. <laughs> they're, they're confused. I was expecting pizza stuff, but no, <laughs> it's good. I just got to reload my my taste taste buds, so back to normal. Well, then I'll you eat have it. Have a sweet tooth. Taste buds. <laughs> yeah. Just channel your sweet tooth. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fan. That was awesome, man. Have you guys ever tried that? Pretty delicious. So the guy that lives across the street just came to see me. And he gave me a gift. So he gave me this big bag of rhodiola. It's a medicinal herb. Um, you put it in tea or whatnot, or you can make a tincture with it. or And they grow it right in that building over here. They ship to all over the world, the guy's saying. So I'm going to get a tour of this facility one day. Not right now because I'm cutting grass. But yeah, we're gonna try this tonight. See if it helps with my fingers. This guy's doing a little mud bogging in his rig. Anyway, I'm pretty much done here. Lawn wise, that is. So yeah, this car is mine if I want it, but I don't have room to store it or build it into a demolition derby car or anything. I'm just gonna help them sell it. Look, it runs and everything, like I said. Just the uh, airbags in the back are gone. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave my lawnmower here for tonight. Come back tomorrow and do under these appliances because there's no point moving them twice for nothing. And that, well, if I had a good weak whacker, I'd throw it in, but no. Well, this here lawnmower, it's it's running like crap. I don't know what's going on. Like, it'll run, but at very low speeds, like, doesn't idle up. And it stalls at the small as a blade of grass. Anyway, maybe I'll play with it tomorrow for buddy. Good people, these people, for sure. Made some new friends. Okay, let's put this away in supper time. Tracy, well, the owner of the house, she came out and gave me one of these. It's been years since I've had a, a curling. 6.1 even. I might have to call a cab. So yeah, it'd be nice if I can get these going. I brought them home, obviously. Hey, Doug. Well, uh, Alton said that they all ran at one point. Like, look at this weed eater. It looks brand new. It'd be nice to get that going. But I'm, I'm just going to replace the gas and go from there. Let's try this thing. There's gas in it. Looks like it's mixed. We'll prime it. Full choke it. Yeah, I should try the other one, if there's gas in it. I don't know. That one doesn't sound too healthy. Well, hey there, people. Well, I'm just on my way to Sunnybrook. Uh, that's where the dump is. It's 12 minutes from my house, so we're gonna dump this shit off and uh, go back for two more loads.
Solid Waste Transfer Station, Sunnybrook, is what it's called. Stupid windshield wipers. Hear that noise? Well, this is going to be fun. I got to separate everything. The metal goes in the metal pile here, and fridges, stuff. What a shit show! Like everything had to be separated. Like everything, like every little plastic bottle, every little piece of wood, and all the bins were full. So they had to make room for me. And yeah, I worked hard at this. I worked harder at the, the scrapyard here, or the dump, whatever, than I did at the lady's house. Anyway, let's go get another load. Next load's gonna be easier, it's all appliances, so I know where they go. Man. And they do take tires, they take paint, they take TVs, they take the fridges, obviously. They'll take anything, as long as it's, you gotta sort it out and put it where it goes. Yeah, I didn't take all the appliances this trip because I got a broken suspension on this side, so I don't want to overdo it and wait. It's still pretty heavy. Having flashbacks, man. Super flashbacks. Nobody works here or what? Must be on lunch. I guess I kind of know where I'm going because that's all the appliances here, it looks like. Just dump everything off there. Is this only fridges? anything but fridges here so I'm gonna have to go find somebody. Ready to go. There you are. I lost you! I seen you and I lost you! I was over there, I came up here to meet you and you just keep going yeah. around. But is it all just fridges down there? Or What's that? Is it just fridges down there or can I dump the stove and shit? No, the stoves, stoves in this pile. The, the stoves go up here, only the fridges and freezers go okay. over there. Alright, so I'll dump and, that. Uh, like fridges, fridges, air conditioning, back, okay. cooling stuff. Goes I gotcha. Right I'm gonna learn this place. Cause they, gotta, they gotta drain the uh, coolant out the of The Freon, eh? Yeah, cool. So I'll just back up. I don't want to back right in there. There's nails and shit, eh? No, Can I just... Well, dude, like, you'll be able to back up up to the appliances there. Yeah, kind of on the side I'll go. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Check out this hoard. Well, this is my last load. Unless I drag that car home. Probably won't happen, but we'll see. I'm gonna put on a Kijiji, try to sell it for them. Tracy made a sandwich for me. My lunch. Like I said, nice people, very nice. Okay, let's go to the uh, junkyard, or it's uh, the dump, I guess. It's the tire pile. <laughs> um, next stop will be the refrigeration section out over there. And we'll get rid of the appliances. And the TV goes uh, in the recycling place. And the wood goes in the wood place. And the paint goes in the paint place. So they separate the fridges because uh, there's a Freon guy that comes and empties them out. Have a look at this truck. You don't see that every day. I was gonna get out do a walk around, but it's super windy. Not that I'm scared of the wind or anything, you know what I mean? But that's pretty sweet. 
So yeah, a buddy at the uh, dump there, he was all impressed with my knowledge of sorting shit out, I guess. Uh, he's like, you should work here. I'm like, sure, man, when do I start? He's like, well, I'm just a foreman for this site. So anyway, he told me to go to NISCU and uh, apply for a job there. I mean, it would only be two days a week, but hey, right now it's better than nothing, I tell you. Like I said, we're struggling with that, that lady in Sudbury not paying her rent. Uh, the court date's today, so we'll see what happens today about that chick in Sudbury not paying her rent. Unbelievable. Well, anyway, uh, I gotta go back to the lady's house, pick up my lawnmower, and get paid. Well, I'm back at the house to pick up my lawnmower, and I forgot this shit. That's okay, I'll load it up and I'll burn it at home. No biggie. That car though, I don't know. And they also gave me this uh, greenhouse. Never used. Uh, I forget what size. Six by eight, maybe? Here's another bonus I got. A dehydrator. I'm gonna have fun playing with that. I'll dehydrate all kinds of stuff. Doggy treats. Kitty treats, maybe. And other stuff. Well, that was a total flashback for me. Uh, hopefully, I get more contracts like that. That was fun, actually. Anyway, people, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Big, big cheers. And we'll talk to you guys later.